Every ironing board can use improving, and I've got a couple of uh, products here today that I think will do just that for you. A few years ago, I discovered this cover. It's called the Miracle Cover, and uh, it's by a company called Measurematic. And no, I don't get them complimentary. I'm not a stock owner. I'm just a very pleased customer, and I am probably on about my fourth or fifth reorder. That's how committed I am to this particular cover. I'm a professional long arm quilter, and my iron is one of my major uh, tools. And so, uh, what I the reason I like this cover so much is uh, I cannot burn something on my ironing board. This cover will not burn. It's designed to reflect heat. It's, uh, I can't tell you exactly what it's made from, but it's a similar uh, material to what they used on the space shuttle with the uh, uh, ceramic infused into the fibers uh, to reflect heat. And so uh, this makes it so that because the heat is reflected, I can iron a wide variety of fabrics at a lower heat so there's less chance of scorching or burning my fabrics. Um, it also saves energy. I'm not having to keep the iron cranked all the way to the high cotton or linen settings. And again, it keeps my room a little cooler, which is nice. It can be used with a steam iron or a dry iron. And they come in every size imaginable. Uh, so if you have a big board or um, some other cover or size rather, uh, these are great. This is mine. I have a, a, it's not a big board, but it's still a fairly wide board. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room and plenty of length here. It comes with a pad and it's a, a decent pad so that when you're pressing, like when I press my husband's shirts, the buttons kind of sink down into it and it's very easy for the iron to glide over the buttons rather than getting caught on them. And this is a very, very durable fabric. Uh, it, it is just a super, super ironing board cover. I have been very, very pleased with it. And despite the extra cushioning in here, it still allows a good airflow up through your ironing board so that your um, items dry very quickly if you're using steam. Now, along with the uh, Miracle ironing board cover, I have found one of my biggest frustrations with ironing board covers, uh, especially with my larger board, is getting it tight enough underneath. And even though I tie it and tighten it, it still sags and I get all that um, puckering around the edges of the board. Not too long ago, I discovered these ironing board cover fasteners at the store. They're by Dritz. And they are literally uh, pieces of elastic with two clips on the end. They're very similar to um, a shirt garter. If you've ever seen those, um, those of us that had been in the military use them to uh, keep our shirts tucked in and our socks pulled up. You also see them sometimes uh, for holding your fitted sheets on, especially on the deeper pocket sheets. So this stretches, it stretches quite a bit. The clip opens, you put it on one end of your cover, you stretch it, you put it on the other end of the cover, and your uh, ironing board will definitely stay in place. If for some reason you have a really wide board and this isn't going to stretch enough, you can just very gently, there's enough room here that you can remove the stitches, get a larger piece of elastic, thread it through, stitch it down, and you're good to go. You've repurposed it into just a little bit bigger size. But uh, in the past, I've tried putting clips on there. I have, uh, you know, like you use those big uh, black paper clips. Um, I've tried those. I've tried everything I can think of and everything just popped off. These stay in place. My cover is nice and tight. I'm a happy camper. So don't hesitate to enhance your ironing board and make improvements to it because it certainly will make the time you spend in your sewing studio or quilting studio a lot more pleasant.